Hello and welcome back. In this Black Excellence series, we will highlight the steps for securing government contracts. Welcome to Black Excellence. This is where we celebrate Black excellence, achievement, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. Having billions of dollars in recurring spending, the United States government and its federal agencies are known to be the world's largest buyer of products and services, and a significant percentage of this spending is set aside for American small businesses as an instrument for economic development. Therefore, if you have a small business, we encourage you to seek out these opportunities and prepare yourself to compete for these government contracts. In this Black Excellence exclusive presentation, we will highlight the steps for securing government contracts. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Learn about government contracting. Getting a government contract can be complex and competitive, so the best way to launch this effort is to really do your homework. So prepare yourself, research all opportunities, and understand the process so you can position your small business to compete. In this step, you want to study the government contract section of the Small Business Administration website and understand the different ways you can sell to the government. Number two, tap into local resources. Find someone who can give you guidance along the way by tapping into local resources, including the surrounding community colleges, many of whom offer classes and seminars. Another valuable resource is your local or regional chamber of commerce. Many chambers provide comprehensive tools and personnel to help entrepreneurs navigate the complexities of government contracting requirements. Number three, find out if your small business qualifies. A business must officially qualify as a small business to participate in small business government contracting. Under SBA standards, a small business must meet certain criteria like being independently owned, organized as a for-profit business, conducts most of its operations in the United States, and contributes significantly to the U.S. economy. Number four, make your business official. We will not dig into all the details, but there are certain things you want to ensure you have set up for your business. You want to incorporate your business with your Secretary of State and focus on picking up all of the right licenses and permits. Before you start working with the government, just make sure you have all of your I's dotted and T's crossed. Number five, do your research and set your contracting targets. There is a lot of attention and energy given to federal contracts, but there are also local and state government contracting opportunities as well. In fact, we recommend that you'll consider bidding on local and state government contracts before moving to federal contracts. The contracts may not offer the big bag, but the experience you gain will help you enhance your knowledge, skills, and confidence to work at the federal level. Number six, identify your NAICS codes. You'll need to find out the NAICS or North American Industry Classification System codes for the product or service you want to sell to the government. NAICS codes are very important to the government and you can find these codes on the NAICS website. Many states, cities, and other jurisdictions, as well as public entities like airports and hospitals, use or adapt SBA's size standards based on NAICS in the bid solicitation process. Number seven, apply for your federal EIN number on irs.gov. After officially registering and setting up your business, you should prioritize applying for a federal tax ID or employer identification number that's referred to as your EIN. Your federal tax ID is assigned by the Internal Revenue Service and works similarly to your social security number, but for business purposes. Applying for this nine digit unique number is free, easy, and convenient too you can get your federal tax ID by applying on IRS's official website. Number eight, understand the solicitation types. There are a few different avenues that government agencies use to request proposals and each comes with its own acronym and paperwork. Their three main solicitation types are an RFQ, an RFP, and IFB. An RFQ or request for quotation is the most simple acquisition procedure and is typically used for contracts under $150,000. An RFP or request for proposal applies to larger and more complex negotiated acquisitions. And an IFB or invitation to bid refers to sealed solicitation processes where there is no negotiation between government agencies and vendor because the submitted bid package is considered final. Number 9. Sign up on SAM.gov. This is where things start to heat up. 
SAM.gov is an official U.S. website for government contracts where all contracts valued at $25,000 or more are posted. Small business owners can find a variety of government contract opportunities, research wage determinations, and search for other business entities. You can also view the previously awarded contracts, which can give you an idea on preparing your bid. Register your business on SAM today and spend some time creating a compelling SBA profile. Number 10. Register on other government contract websites like GSA.gov. The federal government is a gigantic entity. Thus, a variety of contracts are made available on a variety of venues. In addition to SAM, there are also other government-owned websites like the Dynamic Small Business Search, Subnet, Federal Procurement Data System, and the General Services Administration or GSA.gov. Here are a few things about GSA.gov. It's for selling products to the government. It is commonly known as the Federal Supply Schedule and is managed by an independent agency that connects contractors to federal agencies. The GSA database captures billions of dollars in purchases and is responsible for a large share of all federal management expenses. Number 11. Market directly to agencies. If you know exactly which government agency your small business is most suited to contract with, you can market your firm directly to that agency. To do this, you would use SAM.gov and Subnet to identify existing procurement needs, then communicate directly to those agencies. Or just contact the contracting officer to talk through your questions. Even if an agency doesn't have a current contract opening, you should market directly and start networking to establish your name among the government contracting community and put a face on your company. Number 12. Attend government agency events. Keep your ears and eyes open for workshops, conferences, seminars, and other events hosted by the SBA and other government agencies. These occasions provide an enormous opportunity to meet with the staff in different federal government departments as well as experts in the government contracting agencies. Today, some of these events are even conducted online or through Zoom calls, giving you no excuse for not registering and participating. Number 13. Find a mentor. Things might get overwhelming when you first step into the world of government contracting. That is why it could be an excellent opportunity to find a mentor who can help you understand the industry successfully. The networking events are places where you can ask for help of those who have experience and expertise in your target industry. There are also mentorship programs sponsored by the government or by GSA and SBA to help broaden your knowledge and help you navigate the bidding process. Number 14. Apply for certification. The purpose of being certified as a disadvantaged minority, veteran-owned, or woman-owned business enterprise is to establish a designation that is carefully and formally vetted. These certifications will make you eligible for a variety of set-aside programs and sole source contracts. They also help increase opportunities and visibility and, in turn, work their best to even the playing field. These certifications bring out great benefits, but you must apply within the SBA. Number 15. Place a competitive bid but maximize your profit. Once you have settled every requirement, you can now bid for the government contracts that align with your company and its capabilities. Carefully study each contract and ensure that you understand all the contract's conditions to avoid legal implications. You can also hire government procurement consulting services to help you complete your bidding process. To write an effective bid proposal, you should write your bid around the government's specific needs and how your business can deliver the best solution. Price your bid appropriately while still reasonably maximizing your profit potential. Number 16. Receiving an answer. A contracting officer is assigned to each evaluation and it could take them up to three months to complete the review. Receiving an answer if you won the contract or not may take some time, but you will receive personal updates when the process is complete. Also, since the bid is open to the public, the government publicly announces which bid was awarded, including the company name and projected amount. Number 17. Consider subcontracting. Some contracts require large companies to work with small businesses as subcontractors. Subcontracting for a larger company can be an excellent option to become a government contractor, especially if you think your business is not ready to handle a federal contract alone because you can build performance and gain experience. If you are interested in trying, you can find subcontracting opportunities on the SBA's dedicated subcontracting database called Subnet. 
Number 18, work with a bid matching service. For small businesses with more generalized offerings that are unsure of their ideal government agency fit, subcontracting to a bid matching service can be a useful means for finding government contracts. Working with a bid matching service also offers the added benefit of connecting you to experienced government contracting mentors who can help guide you through the proposal and procurement process. We appreciate the fact that you stayed until the end. Thank you for spending time with us and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.